Welcome back to Pursuit Fishing. It is unboxing time. I have a rod, a reel, some terminal tackle, uh, some baits. Let's open it. I have all this stuff. This stuff. Package one. Seaguar Abrasex, uh, 10 pounds. So I'm not gonna say what the rod and reel are yet, but uh, it's for throwing light baits. Uh, not bait finesse, but light baits. I'm gonna, I think I can throw the Ned Rig on it because the Ned Rig's about six grams. And this should go down to about an eighth for a bait caster setup. And now for the rod. Hang on, I'm actually gonna go open the window so I can hang this rod tube out the window and get the rod out. I don't have enough room in here to actually pull this rod out. Rod tube is now out my man room window. What did I get? Let's start here. Free shirt. Tackle warehouse, free shirt. I like t-shirts. Cool. I will wear that. Oh, I forgot that I got... All right, all right. They had a, uh, a sale hat. They had a sale hat for five bucks. So, thank you, Tackle. Oh, this is actually slick. I thought it was all black. So, here we go. I thought it was all black. It's got this cool gray on the side. I actually like this. Oh, let's check it out. Yeah. Nice. Back with my normal hat. Okay, so on to some baits and some terminal tackle. Quarter ounce bullet weights, nothing too fun there. Trocar swim bait hooks, figured I'd give those a shot. Oh yeah, well, I, I talk Ned Rig all the time, right? So of course, had to grab a couple more of these. Finesse bullets in 1 6th and 1 10th. Um, I, I have a bunch already, but I figured I'd grab a few more as we're heading into uh, Smallmouth time. All right, this next one's a little out of the norm for me. Uh, I don't fit, sorry, that's wrong. I do fish a lot of top water, but it tends to be walking baits. Um, when I fish the Umpqua a lot, when the fish are, are active for top water, it's, uh, it's, it's, there's a lot of shad in that river. So they're generally going for fish. Um, not a lot of sunfish in the part of the river I fish, but I wanted to try this. Live target bluegill. Uh, there's a couple bodies of water I fish where I think this could be good. There's a pond I go to that has a ton, actually two ponds. I have a ton of bluegill, and I think I might be able to use this. Late summer, the pond gets real nasty. Okay, these are something that I have read, and I'm hearing, I'm hearing a lot about these. I wanted to branch out. I wanted to try it. I want small, and there's a lot of small bait fish in that river. So these are different. Um, it's the dark sleeper. I like this color. The bait fish in my river are whitish with some blue or purple iridescent colors to them. Uh, so dark sleeper. This bait's smaller than I thought it would be. So I did order some bigger sizes, but they are out of stock. So that's on back order. We'll be doing a video on this. I actually can see this small size. I can see the small size getting just gobbled up when they are chasing fish and not crawdads. I'm real excited about this one. All right, let me, let me get this open. It's from Six Cents. Splashback. I fish so much white on this river, so does everybody. I, I got a couple other their crankbaits in this black and blue color that I'm dying, I'm dying to try this. Let's get it open. Look at this color. And last is another topwater bait. See, like earlier I almost said I don't throw topwater baits. I do. Uh, who doesn't love it? Who doesn't love topwater? Lucky Craft Sammy. So the Lucky Craft Sammy 100 is my absolute best producing topwater bait. I have the 100 size, which I think is like four inches. I think a smaller, just a slightly smaller size is going to do a little better on the river. So the, the first Sammy I got, I got in a mystery or lucky tackle box and it's done fantastic. But I think just sizing down a hair, especially on some days, 
I think we'll get more bites. Let's pop this open. So that iridescent blue purple I was talking about on our bait fish, this has it. All right, that's all for the baits and tackle. So do we go rod or reel? I think we go reel. Daiwa Tatula SV TW 103 HS. Yeah, I don't care about what's in the box. Don't care. All right, here is the Daiwa. I want with the seven three to one gear ratio. God, this reel feels smooth. It feels good. All right, so uh, I'm sure most of you know this reel. If you don't, it's gorgeous. It feels good. This thing is smooth. I have, I have some nice reels. Uh, this is actually the most expensive one though. Uh, I got the Luz Mach 2, the 13 Fishing, Inception. You know what's funny is is I, I don't spend insane amounts of money on my on my gear. Um, I, I, for me, it's not necessary. I'm not trying to win tournaments. I'm trying to have fun. So, you know, around a hundred bucks for a reel is generally where I go. Maybe a little more with some bait casters, but uh, the reel that actually has impressed the hell out of me is the Cabela's or Bass Pro Shop Pro Qualifier, Pro Qualifier 2. I have two of them. The thing is smooth, it feels good, drags good. I've been blown away for the price. However, this feels better and it should. It was more expensive. If you haven't seen one in person, they're gorgeous. It's like a blue-gray color. Mine has the red highlights. The colors will be different based on the speed you choose. I actually really like the purple highlights, but I didn't want that uh, gear speed. And the last piece of the unboxing is the rod. 6.9, medium light, fast action, one-piece casting rod. Anyone know those stats? Fate Green from 13 Fishing. I love the color. I didn't buy it for the color. I mean, that was a bonus. Love the color. I bought it because it's a medium light. The stats are one, the, the bait stats, one eighth to one half. I can tell you from feeling the action on this, I don't think there's any way in hell I'd throw a half ounce bait on here. This is medium light fast. I don't think it's a fast tip. This is like moderate fast to me. Let's see if we can flex this. This tip is so soft. Yeah, we got a good amount of bend into the backbone of the rod. So, in my book, it's kind of a moderate fast. We'll see how it fishes. And the other bonus, it's not broken like the last one I got. All right, I'm gonna slap the reel on here real quick and let's take a look. Try not to hit the walls. Yeah, this is a very, very soft for even a medium light. Um, I have some other medium lights and spinning reel or spinning rods and they're a fast action and uh, the tip is 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 a little firmer than this so but that's good I was actually hoping that would be the case I want to throw those light baits and I'm only sticking 10 pound test on here so I want more flex in this rod check out the colors I don't think the red goes great with the green um, that's why I wanted the purple but whatever the color of the reel though I think does look fantastic it's all about looks, right? I mean, dude, if you look good, you know you're catching more fish. That is all I have to open. Uh, really happy with this setup. Can't, how happy can I be? I haven't fished it yet. Should be going out this weekend. This will get fished this weekend. I will have a video come out, coming out soon of fishing this stuff. Uh, I'll share specifically about this rod. There's not a lot on this rod on the internet. Uh, not the medium light. I found some videos and some things on the other versions of the rod that they have. Uh, but not the medium light. So, so yeah, stay tuned. We'll uh, share more about the rod, the reel, the baits. We'll do it all. Hope you have a great day. Take care.